No outlaw's name struck more terror into the hearts of law-abiding citizens than the name of Jake Baldry. He struck without warning, robbed, plundered, and murdered. Until finally his acts of outrage brought Marshal Dallas Deadeye Jones out of retirement to track him down. Riding hard, Tunnel. Anything wrong? Uh, me plenty worried, Kimisali. Silver City newspaper print report about Marshal Jones. Uh, tell which way him come here. Old time Texas lawman says he'll arrest Jake Baldry. Dallas Deadeye Jones riding here through Canyon Trail. That's all Baldry needs to bushwhack Deadeye and kill him in his tracks. Unless we do something about it. Uh, me hear plenty tales about Deadeye. Say him draw fast and shoot straight. Well, he used to, Tunnel, but. Dallas Jones is an old man now. Uh, you know him, Kimisami? Only by reputation. If what I've heard about him is true, he's going to be a hard man to help. Uh, because him too proud? Proud, fearless, mighty stubborn. We're going to handle him carefully so he won't resent our interference. Maybe we have to trick him into letting us help him. Maybe so. But we're going to help him whether he likes it or not. <laughs> Jones always rides alone. I understand all his years a lawman. He's never had a deputy. I wonder if they could be... Just as I thought. It's Jake Baudry and his partner Tanner. Tunnel. They're heading for that switchback. Now, that best place for them to ambush old lawman when him ride by. Not if we capture them before he rides by. Come on. Sure, that old coot will be coming this way. We read it in the paper, didn't we? Sure, I'm sure. Well, I hope so. I hate to be wasting time here when we could be robbing that bank and so forth. Quit worrying about the bank. We'll take care of that. But first, we got to get rid of Dead Eye Jones. I don't see what makes him so all fired important. Oh, no? Well, he was the toughest lawman in the state of Texas till he took up ranching. Now he's wearing a star again. We got to get him or he'll mess up our plan. Jones bragged he was going to get us. Don't say he will. Uh, that's right. We're going to get him first. Then everything's going to be all right. All right, you two. Stop your guns. Take a look at that mask, Jake. What are you fellows trying to do? Move in on our territory? You can't stick us up, mister. We're outlaws ourselves. I know you are, but we're not. Now drop your guns real easy, like. We take them to the Silver City Jail, Kimisami? I have a better idea, Tonto. We'll leave them here for Dallas Jones to find and take in single-handed. He'll finish this job in a blaze of glory. Let me tie him up. All right, mass man. If you shoot at me, you'll hit your engine friend. And if you shoot at Tanner, I'll take care of the engine myself. Get your gun, Tanner. <laughs>
caught between two fires, Kiyosami. Hold your fire, Taro. It's Dead Eye Jones. He'll think we're shooting at him. Tanner, let's get out of here. That suits me. Show yourself, you mangy coyotes. We'd better humor him. Look, Kimitabe. Bogey and Tanner may get away. All right. If you won't come out, I'll drag you out. Reach, you buzzards. Oh, hiding your face behind a mask, huh? This mask is on the side of the law and always will be. There go your outlaws. Well, if them's the outlaws, what are you doing down here with them? Kimisabe catch them for you. Now you spoil it. Easy, Tonto. Kimisabe, Tonto. I heard tell of a fellow that wore a mask and worked for law and order. They say he used to be with the Texas Rangers. They always figured that was a campfire story. It's true no matter what you think. And prove it. When were the Texas Rangers sworn in as a law enforcement body? 1835, officially. Who was the commanding officer? Major R.N. Williamson. What kind of horse do you ride? Quick now. He rides Scout, Kimisabe ride White Stallion named Silver. Ah, uh, gee. Give me one of your bullets. No fumbling around, neither. Pure silver, Marshal Jones. Yeah, I reckon you're right at that. So you know who I am, eh? Every man in the West fights for law and justice knows the name of Dead Eye Jones. You couldn't have heard much about me. You'd know I always play a lone hand. So what in turn nation are you sticking your nose in my business for? We read in the papers that you were traveling this trail alone. Jake Bowdy read paper too, Marshal. Sure, Bowdy reads the paper. That's why I got the editor to print that piece about me. You do it on purpose, so Bowdy try ambush you? Dag, never the easiest way to take a bad man is when he's bushwhacking. He's watching the trail instead of looking behind him. How did you know where they'd ambush you? You're a stranger here in these parts. I rode into Silver City two nights ago without letting on. After I made my deal with that editor feller, I rode the trail back and studied it. I get ahead, then skunks, if it hadn't been for you butting in and losing them for me. Now we gotta start all over. We not lose them, you... Just a minute, Tonto. Marshal, we're sorry we spoiled your plans. But Baudry and Tanner are two to one against you. Unless you accept our help. Yeah, that makes four to one against me. Eh, yeah, I reckon your intentions are good, all right. But the only thing you can do for me is get your horses and get before you ruin my reputation. Come on, Tonto. Looks like we aren't wanted here. Almost out of canyon, Kimasabi. Why are we stop? We're not letting Marshal Jones play a lone hand against Baudry and Tanner. His age would be no match for them. He'd be plenty angry if him find out we're still trying to help him. We'll do it without him knowing. You remember that mine we set up camp last year? Ah. We'll use that as headquarters. Come on. We leave horses out of sight, Kimasabi. We aren't staying here after all. Somebody already camped here. Not just somebody. Look at this. D.I.J. Dead Eye Jones. This is the brand he uses at his ranch. If him camp here, we better move someplace else before him come back. Tonto, listen. We can't get to our horses from here. He'd see us. We could hide in mine, Tonto. That's it. Come on. except the way we came. Uh, we trapped by man, we tried to help. At least we're close by in case he needs us. Jones has got to be around here somewhere. Uh, what about that mass man in the engine? Ah, oh, they were just a couple of drifters who were our favorite. Chances are Jones ran him off. He ain't gonna run us off because he's not gonna live that long. If we find him. Don't worry, all we gotta do is keep looking. We'll cross his trail someplace. Let's go. I think he's gone. Unless him try to play a trick on us. That's a chance we'll have to take. Come on. He's gone, all right. We get horses and follow him? But at a safe distance. He mustn't know we're keeping an eye on him. Uh, there 
ain't a sign of him nowhere. Well, the earth couldn't just open up and swallow him. I wonder... Hey, I'll bet that's it. Oh, you mean the earth did swallow him? No, not exactly, but... Do you remember a couple of days ago we rode by that old worn-out mine? Yeah. I wonder if he's camping there. That's quite a ride from here. Well, what's the matter with you? You tired or something? Come on, let's go check that mine. Are you sure you left the horses here? Ah, I mean, sure. I mean, tied them to this bush. A message for us. I said, stay away from me. You'll find your horses two miles north. Yours truly, Deadeye Jones. The old fox knew we were in the mine all the time. Uh, now we lose him. Not for long. We've got a two-mile walk for our horses. Come on. I said, he is camping here. Yeah, but where is he now? So what do we care as long as we know he's coming back after his belongings? Dig a hole in that campfire. What for? Just do as I say and you'll see. Saving his gunpowder to blow up the bank safe. And I guess it's enough for both jobs. Next meal old Jones cooks, when the flame hits that, is gonna blow him sky high. Now let's cover it up so he won't suspect nothing. So far after all. Old lawman turned him loose. Who's over? That's a good boy. Give me Tommy. Here's another note from Deadeye. Don't follow me back to camp. I ain't going there no more. Deadeye Jones. Tell he's trying to trick us again. You think him really go back to camp? I'm sure of it. He's belonging to back there. Him hope no throw us off train? Yes, but it isn't going to. Still don't see why we can't just wait till he shows up and plug him in the back. Nah, that looks too much like murder. When that gunpowder blows him up, everybody will figure it's an accident. Nobody's gonna suspect us anyway, because we're gonna have a perfect alibi. Who'd give us an alibi? Everybody in Silver City's general store. Because that's where we're gonna be when old Dead-Eye Jones blows himself to glory. Hurt bad, Kimasabi. Bullet just sting rib. You go act outlaw. Not until I'm sure you're all right. I uh, mean, just get breath knocked out. Kimasabi, maybe this fall from Jake Bourne's saddle. Gunpowder. I wonder if they planted the charge at the old marshal's camp. Uh, we better get there quick. Are you sure you can ride? Uh, you're not worried, Kimasabi. Me, all right. Good. Jones, get away from that fire. Audrey and Tanner were there. I think they planted a powder charge. <laughs> if they had, I'd have spotted it. 
If you're trying to scare me, you don't scare that easy. We're trying to save your life. If there's gunpowder under that fire, you'll be blown to bits. If I told you before, and I'll tell you again for the last time. Keep away from me and stay out of my business. Now clear out. Marshal, don't do that! Still alive, Kimisabi? Yes, but his eyes and face are badly burned. He needs a doctor. We'd better get him to Silver City right away. I'm tired of the way things are going on around this town. I'm going to change everything. Jake, you just... Jake, I just... How many seen times something? I got to tell you not to interrupt me when I'm talking? Jake, this is something... Shut up! Now, like I was saying, if Dead Eye Jones wants me, why is he hiding in the hills? I'm right out here in the open, waiting for anybody to come and take me if they think they're man enough. And that includes any of you if you've got gravel enough to back up your own game. Jake, will you listen to me? All right. I just seen the masked man in that engine helping old man Jones into Doc Washburn's place. Jones? Ain't he dead? Well, it looks like the blast chewed him up plenty, but he can still navigate. You better get over to the doctor's office and see what you can find out. Fix me up quick, Doc, so I can go out and gun Jake Bulbridge. You won't be gunning anybody for a while, Marshal. Not until your eyes get well. Ain't nothing wrong with my eyes. Least ways I can see good enough to shoot. Can you see this? Sure, I can see it. It's something white, a handkerchief. Hey, what's going on right, here? Right, Marshal. The Doc isn't going to hurt you. He's just going to bandage your eyes. You know, I don't care if he does. Just so he leaves the slit in the bandage to see through. And hurry it up, because I'm heading for a showdown with Jake Bulbridge. You can't see well enough to go after Bulbridge, and that's a fact. Who said so? I can see you standing right out in front of me, plain as my hand before my face. Jake, that old man may be seeing fuzzy, but he's talking sharp. Dead eyes and all, he's gonna come gunning for you. Seeing fuzzy? You mean his eyes ain't working so good? Mm. And I don't have nothing to worry about. Hey, Dead Eye Jones coming gunning for me. Any of you heroes figure on lining up on his side? Just what I thought. I ain't never gunned no blind man, but if that's the way he wants it, that's the way he's gonna get it. Dead center. He's coming out of the doc's office right now. Let's go. Duck out, he wouldn't know the difference. He can't see nothing. Yeah, I'll see less in a minute. This is our chance to get rid of him for good. Slip in that alley over there and cover me in case there's an accident. Make it play, Marshal! I'm right here in front of you! They're there for keeps, Tom. Marshal, I think this coat fits you better than it does me. Mister, you mean to tell me you caught them two sidewinders single-handed? No, Marshal. You caught them single-handed the way you've always done. It's what the people of Silver City think, and it's what Beaudry and Tanner will think, too. When your eyes get well, I suggest you go into retirement again. Ah, and this time for good, Marshal Jones. And that's just what I'm going to do. I've been an ornery old fool. But I'll say this. When the time come when I had to have a deputy, I'm mighty glad it turned out to be you. Thank you, Marshal Jones. Adios. 
I just can't figure how you could shoot like that, you old wildcat. What did you do for eyes? <laughs> <laughs> and the law works with eyes that see in the dark. Ain't you ever noticed the statue of old Lady Justice? She works blindfolded, only now and then. She gets a little help from the Lone Ranger. <laughs> I'll sell 